terrace house is dead. If you don't know already, a terrace house participant killed herself due to online bullying. Hannah Kimura was a 22-year-old professional wrestler. Her mother was also a professional wrestler. Um, and she decided to come on to the show in order to spread the awareness of wrestling as a sport and to sort of bring her world to not only a domestic entertainment following, but also an international one as well. So if you don't know what Terrace House is, it's a Japanese reality TV show where Three guys and three girls live in the same house together and cameras follow them around showing their day-to-day -day lives as they navigate through their careers and even their relationships with one another. The appeal of the show really is its modest take in reality television. People are out here doing really the most mundane things and you get these whole like scenes dedicated to these mundane things like grocery shopping, cooking dinner together, swimming in the pool together, just things like that. It's very different from American reality TV where almost every scene is just focused on action, action, action. Here it's just very quaint. There are about three breaks in between the show and it cuts to these panelists who are watching the exact same scene as you are and they give their takes of what's going down. Now, these panelists happen to be entertainers, mostly comedians, so you already know they're going to have interesting takes of someone just rocking up to a grocery store or getting dinner with another person to get to know them better. Since a show has hit, Netflix has become a global phenomenon. It was no longer just a Japanese show. You now get all these people from around the world, not just Japanese and part Japanese people, are participating in the show. So here comes Hana Kimura. She is a professional wrestler who joined the show around September of last year. You know, she, from very early on, she stated that she wants to bring awareness to professional wrestling and she wants others to enjoy it as much as she does. And the thing about her is she has a very quirky but shy personality. You know, she's very forward with what she thinks and I think that kind of thing didn't bow well with some viewers. For me personally, I thought she was just being normal. Like, I just thought mad people were overreacting. From what I remember of this show, I don't necessarily remember the panelists being super critical of her. However, she's also half Indonesian. Um, the thing about Japan is that I feel like there's this weird implicit xenophobia against mixed Japanese people who aren't half white. And, you know, whether people admit it or not, it's true. There is an incident involving her and another housemate. I actually didn't watch this episode because I sort of just kind of, you know, fell off from the show after certain people left. Also, I had other work to do and had other shows to watch. Apparently, an incident happened where a guy washed her wrestling outfit and then threw it in a dryer and subsequently fucked it up. Basically, she went off, flipped his hat, and they had a verbal exchange. She drew criticism just for that. And there were hella people just cyberbullying the shit out of her unnecessarily. And it caused her to become depressed. And then after that, well, you already know what happened. She took her life on May 23rd, and here we are now. Of course, there are several factors that led to all of this, including the panelists' commentary, the fans, the xenophobic nature of Japan at times. But 
What I have a real, real problem with is fans not necessarily taking accountability. People have been mad silent. Some hating ass people have been mad silent. And see, I don't really go on Reddit at all, but to do research for this video, I went on Reddit because, you know, it was probably the biggest English speaking terrorist house community. But even on there, mad people were deleting their posts of their hate for Hannah. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Why would you even make those posts in the first place? Throughout all of this, I kind of realized that mad people are just sheep. You know what? I still don't have any sympathy or empathy towards Japanese fans that contributed. Yes, you contributed to her death. No, you guys are all messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like the North American fans, the Western fans, you guys... You guys are something else, man. Like, in North America, in the Western world, what she did would be totally, totally understandable. She flipped a hat because someone messed up something that was truly sentimental to her. Growing up in North America, I'm surprised she didn't punch a dude in the face. And yet, these people are out here following the opinions, not just of the Japanese fans, but also the panelists too. And I think that is also the overall problem of this show. You see, the thing with Terrace House is that it's branded itself as this real show because of how mundane and quaint and quiet everything seems. But it's still television. It still needs to get produced. So what do you think is going to happen with that? You don't just get multiple camera angles beautifully just from having natural interactions between the cast and the camera crew. No, the whole production crew lets them know when stuff is about to be filmed. You don't just say, oh, I have a great idea. Let's go to this restaurant. And then next thing you know, you have three different camera angles in a spot. No, you need to get approval from the spot. You need to book a table in the surrounding areas. It's a whole production. Even the guy in Nikki Day, I'm going to post a picture right here. But even then, camera crew and production crew are just huddled around this one area. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all produced yet it's done a very good job of branding itself as this not produced show and that with the combination of how the panelists dissect every single subtle movement and intention i think that's sort of given this weird license to the fan base to do the same with the participants of the show when you know this show's edited they could have just been looking at a piece of lint they maybe they weren't looking down because they were nervous of you know some guy looking at them or something it's crazy they feel so close to the participants that they push their own moral values onto them in a super strange and bozo-ish way like i said in the beginning of the video i think terrace house is done either the panelists aren't going to come back or the energy of the show is going to be different. I also think that the reputation of the show will be forever tarnished. And I say good because Hana Kimura deserved better, not just from the fan base, but also from the producers of the show. They should have looked out for her. They should have considered her mental health after they stopped filming due to production shut down her death could have been avoided and this is why Terrace house needs to die now this is my first time talking about this kind of thing but let me know your thoughts new video coming soon about music related stuff normally i don't make this kind of content but hey i figured i had a lot to get off my chest so all right okay take care guys